Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we're going to learn what is structure in C language. So let's get started. This is the syntax of the structure. This is the syntax, and the structure always start with the keyword struct. Then it will require a name. So this is the structure name. Then we will require all the members, and then we have to declare. There are many ways you can declare a structure. So you can also write, for example, if you want to declare array of structure, you can use like this. Now we have ten structures available, or you can also do this in main void main function. I will show you how to do it. So we will take an example. So we will take an example of an employee. So an employee have a name and salary. So we will create a structure with two member function. First is the name, second is the salary, and then we will store data of some employees in it, and then we will print the data on the screen. So first, always include your header file. The C language does not require header files, but still you should know. what types of header file are used so this is the standard input output header file then the second header file you can use is the conio which will be required for functions such as clear screen and get ch now the syntax of the structure as i explained in the video first we have to use the keyword struct and you can see the color change to white because this is a keyword of the language itself so you cannot use this name for any variable name So now we will require a structure name. So we will write emp, and then for the member function, we will write as I said, we will use name and salary. So first we will declare salary, so integer type salary, and then second we will require a name. So write character name, and we will keep the size ten. And now we can close the structure. So now to declare the variable of the structure, you can either declare it here like e of ten, or you can declare it in void main. Sometimes when you declare the variable in void main, some compilers gives an error of undefined symbol or undefined structure. So to overcome that, you can declare the variable here. So write void main. So now in the void main, first we will declare our structure. We have to use the name of our structure, which is e. Then we will require a structure variable, so we will use e, and then we will give the size ten. So now we can enter the records of ten employees in our structure. So what we will do? We will require a for loop. So we need to use a variable for the for loop. So we will require an i for the for loop, and then we have to take the input from the user that how many employees they want to enter. So we will use the n for that. So the n is number number of employees and now what you can do you write clear screen now we will print a message on the screen that enter number of employees and then we can close this and we will save this in by writing the scan f we will save this in our n so that we can know how many employees are there so now you will save this in n so now the n holds the record that how many employees the user is going to enter now for our for loop what you can do we will write the for loop and first as i have already declared this i you can see so we will initialize this i from 0 then we will put the, our condition because the for loop first initialize the keyword then it checks the condition then it follows the instruction inside the function and then it comes to increment so now we will write i i less than n because n holds the number of employees and then i plus plus so this is a very friendly standard for loop we are going to use so because there are two details we can you can either write it in one sentence or you can use another so we will use two different sentence for that so write enter name of employee and now we will save this in scan f because name is a string so we have to use percentage s and then ampersand symbol and we will save this in because our structure variable is e because this will be our first record so we will save this in e of i so you can see the i is equal to 0 so the record will be saved in e of 0 so this is just like an array and now on which column we want to save so we want to save in the name column So now we can close our bracket, and then our second message is print f. Sorry, I have not written the n here. Now our second message is enter salary. Then we have to save. We have to do the same thing. Write the scan f because it will it's an integer. Use percent d, and then we will save this in e of i dot salary. Now we can close our for loop because the two detail we want to enter is entered. Now what we have to do, we have to display this detail. So to display these details, we will first use a clear screen so that the screen will get cleared after 
the user finished entering this data now to display we have to use this same for loop this for i so we will copy this and then we will paste here because there will be same number of record and now to print you can use different types of designs for example you can write this and then in the next line you can write printf and we can use the capital details of employee are and then again to display the details and now printf will display the actual detail which is name equals to because the first was string so write percent s and then comma and now where the data is saved so write t we will to use the same thing t of i dot and a n now we'll close this bracket and then we will write printf salary now the salary is integer data type we are going to use percent d and then comma e of i dot salary close the for loop now we have to close the main function and before closing the main function write get ch to hold the screen for output and now we will run the program but first you should always save your program so that if any error happens we will not lose your program as the c program we will use the dot c and the name will be structure employee emp now we will run the program and we will see that is there any error in the program so if there is an error i will show you how to rectify that there may be possibly some errors so let's run the program so this is the error which i am talking about you can see undefined symbol emb i explained this in the beginning of the video that you can sometimes because in some compiler this emp will not accept so you just have to remove it from here and write it down here now save the program and run the program once again and you can see there is one error so undefined symbol n so yes because we have declared n over here and used a single n so we will remove this o save the program control f9 and you enter the number of employees so we will write 3 and then enter name of employees so equal to e salary will be 12 second employee is Now you can see the details are displayed a little bit messy so what you can do you can use some manipulators slash n slash t as we use in our all videos slash n and use a slash t here. So wherever we have used the print tab we can use slash n and slash t slash n is for new line slash t is for tab space. Now save the program and run the program once again. Enter the number of employee, we will enter two details. Enter name, we will write TWE and the salary we will write 100. Then you can use ASD and the salary will be 2. Now when you press the enter button, all this will be cleared because we have used a clear screen command and the details will be displayed. So enter and now you can see the details of employee are name QWE 100 and then again the for loop executed. Details of employee are name ASD. This is how you can create and store data into a structure. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, press the like button. If you have any question, comment, quite suggestion, leave that in the comment box. Subscribe for more. Bye.